carriers bringing in Maxim M. Litvinov, Soviet Commissar of Foreign Affairs. I am looking forward to the great pleasure and honor of making the acquaintance of your illustrious president, who is giving yet another proof of his wisdom and broad views by taking the initiative and addressing Mr. Litvinov. I shall also be extremely glad to renew my acquaintance with your Secretary of State, Mr. Cordell Hall, whom I had the great pleasure of meeting at the London International Conference. The Russian envoy is met by representatives of the State Department and transferred from the Berengaria to a government tug, which speeds him to the Jersey City Railroad Terminal, where a fast train is waiting to whisk him to Washington. It's a momentous visit, the first official one from Russia in 16 years. America, which turned him down in 1918, is welcoming Mr. Litvinov this time with great ceremony. In Washington, he is met at the station by Cordell Hall, Secretary of State, and other dignitaries. It's a significant meeting, and a veritable army of reporters and cameramen are here to record it. President Roosevelt has sent his personal automobile down for Mr. Litvinov's 